John Banner, most famously known as Sergeant Schultz on the TV show Hogan's Heroes. He was born Johann Banner, January 28, 1910, in Austria, Hungary, to Jewish parents. Johann had a normal upbringing and did very well in school, so it was no surprise that he would go on to college. But when he enrolled in the University of Vienna, he chose to pursue a law degree. This was kind of unexpected to his family since Johann seemed to be more into the arts at the time. Although he was keeping up with his law studies, Johann was also performing with a traveling acting troupe. In 1938, while performing in Switzerland with his acting troupe, they were informed that Hitler had just annexed the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Hitler was not allowing anyone of Jewish descent to return. Frightened for his family, Johann mailed letters to them, but did not get any replies. As the others from the acting troupe moved back home or off with family in other countries, Johann applied for and was granted political asylum in the United States of America. Once he arrived in the USA, he chose to start going by the name John instead of Johann in hopes of fitting in more. John was still writing letters to his family along with everyone else he knew from his hometown, but again, he never got a single reply back. He was having trouble finding steady work, mainly because he did not speak English very well, so he would spend hours each day learning it phonetically while working odd jobs. By 1942, John had found out that his entire family had been taken to a concentration camp. Wanting to do his part to help them, he joined the United States Air Force and underwent basic training in Atlantic City, eventually becoming a supply sergeant. As the war came to an end, John found out that his parents and all of his siblings had been killed in the Holocaust. He was devastated. Vowing to not allow the evil of the world to destroy him too, John went back into acting, but this time he would be trying out for movie and television roles. Pop culture of the time was still fascinated with the war, so with his accent and Nordic looks, almost all of the roles that were offered to him were of German soldiers. At first, this did not please him, but over time, he grew to accept it. Eventually, he started to get parts on popular sitcoms such as The Lone Ranger, The Adventures of Superman, Father Knows Best, Mr. Ed, The Lucy Show, Perry Mason, and more. During this time, he also got married to his wife, Christine. In 1965, he landed the role of Sergeant Schultz on the brand new TV series, Hogan's Heroes. He claims that his wife's good cooking had caused him to gain weight, which was a blessing, because the producers told him that his size made him more lovable. I would have to say that everyone agrees with the producers. Sergeant Schultz is very lovable. When TV Guide questioned John about portraying Sergeant Schultz as a cuddly Nazi, Banner replied, Sergeant Schultz is a representation of the good that is always present in the world. We need more good, and this generation needs him. Hogan's Heroes became a huge hit and ended up becoming the longest-running show based on World War II. It was canceled in 1971, and John landed another role in a very short-lived TV series. But then he tried for another year to find work, before giving up and moving with his wife back to Austria. Within months of returning to his homeland, John unexpectedly died on his 63rd birthday, January 28, 1973. He was buried in Mauer, Vienna, Austria. If you currently go to his gravesite, you will notice that the name on the headstone reads Johann Hubner, 1926-1988. Some recent fans assume that Hubner must have been his family's original last name, but if you look closely, the dates are also wrong. What happened is that when he died, his wife Christine paid for the burial plot and headstone to be leased for 15 years. In Austria and Germany, you can only lease burial plots for 10, 15, or 30 years at a time due to shortages of available land. Since Christine died before it could be renewed and they did not have any children to new it for them, the lease expired, which means that when Johann Hubner died in 1988, 15 years after Johann Banner, the spot was available and leased for 30 years with an option to renew. The fact that they were both named Johann is just a coincidence. The headstone of Johann Banner was removed, his casket dug up and discarded, and any remains of the body would have been cremated then disposed of. Most of the time, there are not enough remains to be cremated. Since John Banner, Sergeant Schultz was a celebrity and fans continue to visit the gravesite, the cemetery has now included the extra information to avoid the confusion. Sergeant Schultz's most famous line was, 
I know nothing, but he sure did give us a lot. Rest in peace. If you liked this video, subscribe for more right here on Cool Classics.